we were coming up to the river here. Let's see how, see how high the water is. Yeah, it was kind of down. There's the Colorado River, guys. This is uh, the Cibola Refuge. Yeah, it's down. Yeah, it's down a little bit. Still looks good though. Water, water looks a little dirty. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at it. Eh, looks a Nah, it's pretty good. It's not brown, it ain't muddy. Looks good. Looks like it was brown for a while. Probably from all the rain. When it rains a lot, puts a lot of dirt in this river. And these, some of the sandbars are exposed. Come out here in the summer, when it's not raining, it gets pretty clear. Looks good. Let's get going. Going down to the fishing spot. We got quite a di distance to go. So this is the uh, Cibola Refuge. This is uh, Arizona. Actually, um, we're actually standing in Arizona. Um, there's a, the original Colorado's over there. It's still cut in. It feeds out down below here. So we're actually standing in Arizona, but that was the original. This is the new cut. They did this in the 20s they cut this thing out and uh, changed the path because it used to be kind of scrolling around and eat banks out and everything else so they did this and reinforced the banks they have gravel they have uh service pile uh gravel all along here you can see it's pretty desolate i mean nothing i mean there's the badlands that's a part of the chocolate mountains over there is part of the Chaco Mountains. That's the Bonding Range. The guys fly out of Pendleton or over here in Arizona, the base in Arizona. This is the way I fish the rip. There's along the bank. I used to stick my rod in the back of my pickup truck here. I'm trying to fish out a big catfish. I don't know if you can see this on video, but you can you can see the drop right here. This is a sandbar. It drops off. It kind of makes an eddy back in here. It's probably, uh, I would say, about 20 feet deep on that drop. And it's pretty clear water down here. And that's probably about four, four feet deep here. And over there, it's probably three feet deep. You can see the lighter color of the sandbar. Now, these sandbars, they move. I mean, you come down here three months, for, three months from now, this thing could be way down there. I mean, they move. It's a continual changing place. But uh, where these drops are, there's big catfish in here. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go up to a bridge right up from here. And there's usually like a lot of smallmouth and uh, catfish, blue catfish. Seems like everything likes to hover around a bridge. Um, over on that side over there, that's the Cibola Refuge. I think I got a bite. Look at this. Can't believe this, man. The rod's bouncing. Oh, got some. These rips are the way to do it, man. This is where the fish are. Let me get, let me crank this down a little bit. Oh, got him. That's probably a catfish. No tell. Yeah, it's thrashing like a cat. You can see him out there. See? See him thrashing. These are nice channel cats. I eat fish, so I'm not those catch and release uh, catfish guys. I like catfish. Do like a nice Cajun. Here it goes. All right, here he is. Nice one. Nice cat. Nice channel. Every one of these rips, you can catch these cats. I mean, this is uh, pretty nice. 
Very nice little fish. I'm gonna keep him. You know, I've stocked these things in a lot of lakes. You know, uh, I've taken them and you put them on ice with a little bit of water in there and they, they just kind of go to sleep and take them to the lake, release them out. Nice cat, nice chow. I don't know how big he is, pound, two pounds, three pounds, whatever. This is a good eating fish, it's sweet water out there, man. I didn't have any luck on the first stop. I was just taking this out because I seen a I seen a bald eagle over here flying around. I'm gonna get him on video and I threw this thing on and all of a sudden the poles start dancing. There you go. You don't have to throw out this thing very far. I mean you can just this is right here, right at the edge of the rip. Just let it go down, go off the edge. There we go. A little bit further. There it fell off. There we go. You can actually see the cut. This rip is a, it's where the fish accumulate because everything comes off the bank. Usually gets caught in an eddy. And uh, catch fish. Every once in a while while you're out here, man, they bring the, uh, F-18s out of, out of Arizona here and uh, come screaming down this river, man. It's just like going to an air show. I was down below here probably about two miles and uh, the bar comes up real high. So it's like a lot of shallow, shallow. So I decided to come back up here and I'm gonna fish this up north all the way almost into Blythe. There's a bridge up here. Usually has a lot of fish, small mouth, all kinds of stuff. We're, we're gonna start filming again over there. So it'll be good. Okay, I made I made a, a about a half mile move from the other place. This is a little tighter. See, the thing about these banks is some of it could be covered in brush, kind of tight. I mean, some of it's so thick you can't, you know, you can't, you can obviously see, you can't fish over it. But there was a cut here, and you know, I always uh, when I come out here, I always bring like a I got one of these hand saws from Corona Clipper that can rip through this stuff, but somebody already came in here and done this, but this is how tight it is. I'm gonna have to pull that fish up, right up through this, up through this cut, if I catch one. I had a I had another strike when I casted it out on the other thing, it was a striper, you could tell, you know, striper's really sm smack it hard, you know, and uh, I didn't get him, but there's striper all over in this river, man. And here's the rule of thumb about the Colorado. If you uh, catch any striper, don't throw them back. The thing's infected with them. They eat everything. They're like piranha. They eat all the smallmouth babies, all the bluegill babies, all the catfish babies. They eat pretty much everything. They're just machines. And so, you know, don't throw them back. Um, at all. I love coming out here, man. It's so quiet and and still. Lots of wildlife. Mule deer, quail, doves, geese, ducks, mountain lions, which is really scary. When I when I when I hunt quail up up on the mesas, I always carry a forty five ACP with me because uh, I'm sure the cats are well fed. But just in case, you gotta. You, I don't want to be one of those people. Oh, his truck was found and his wallet was found. You know, be one of those bad scenarios. And there are big lions out there because the deer are big. So they ain't no pussy cat. They ain't no pussy cats out there. They're nice, uh, good looking for calendars and shit. And California has done a shitty job managing them. Basically, they're completely protected. So basically, they can eat a human. And if you shoot the thing, if you shoot the thing while it's attacking you, you're in trouble. It's kind of like one of them scenarios. Which, if they come after you and you shoot them, well, they have the rule, the three S's. Shoot, shovel, and shut up. That's the rule. Okay, so uh, we moved another half mile. We found another wrap. 
I, I got a cut here. I can actually bring the fish up here. Um, on, on this bait runner, I'm running like 25 pound Taz Mono. It's a P line. Uh, should have had no problem pulling them up to the brush. 10 pound fish. I'll just jerk them up. Rarely ever lose one in this river. Okay, man. It was almost 10 minutes. I think it was 12 minutes. And now it's going off on this cut. Look at the look at the rod. It's definitely hooked. See, see the rod. That's it. That that is a catfish. So I gotta I gotta finesse this thing up this cut. I don't know how big it is. It could be a toad. You never know with these things. He's going up river. I gotta I gotta bring him literally right up through that brush. Oh, look at him. There he is. He's a nice cat. See him right there in the water. I have polarized glasses on, so it kind of like uh, there he is. Another nice cat, man. Same, almost the same size. It's amazing. It was 12 minutes. So I was going to stay for 12. The bridge is just right up the river. We find another cut open. We can get access to it. Uh, we'll uh, fish it. All right, here we go. Another nice cat, man. Nice channel cat. Look at that. Good eating, man. These are wildcat. These are no uh, stalkers they have out here west. They suck like the tri uh, trout and catfish. He's croaking. He's croaking. They're good eating, man. Cajun style. 